Hi guys, welcome back to Simply Blissful Living. This is Romy and today's video is a follow-up for the pumpkin curry video that I did recently. In that video, I showed um, serving puris as a side or alongside with the pumpkin curry. So I wanted to share that video or that portion of the video with you guys today. Um, I actually shot this the same day I made the pumpkin curry, but the video was so long I wanted to separate the two. So here it is, the recipe for puris. So I am going to make the dough for puri and show you how I do it. Before I get started, I'm going to put down this towel just so I have a little bit of stability. And I have about one cup of whole wheat flour here or chapatiata. You can use any flour, but um, I like it with whole wheat flour. You can use all purpose flour too. I'm adding about a quarter teaspoon of um, Himalayan salt. It's just the salt that I have on hand. You can use regular salt. And I'm going to add about a teaspoon of oil right now. Or maybe half a teaspoon of oil right now. We'll end up using about a tablespoon of oil altogether. And then I'm gonna mix this and start adding lukewarm water. You want to start with small amounts, don't put too much because all flour is different. It depends on your humidity level, how old or new or how your flour was processed. So we're just going to bring this together to a soft dough. You don't want it too soft, but you don't want it too stiff either. I'll show you what the consistency should be like. seems like the right consistency at this point. It's not a soft dough, but it's not hard either. I'm going to get my um, chapati board or um, my choki, as we call it, and I'm going to knead this on there. So that's my dough here. I'm going to knead this dough and to help me knead, I am going to add some oil. That was about a teaspoon of oil, and I'm just going to knead it into the dough here. Okay, so my dough is kneaded. I'm actually going to cover this. I'm going to put it back into that same bowl. Cover it with a, a damp paper towel and let it rest for about 10 minutes. So it's been about 10 minutes and my dough has rested well. I'm going to knead it for about 30 seconds. And I usually like to roll out all my puris um, and then fry them. I do have my oil heating behind me. And by the time I'm done rolling these, it should be ready to fry in. So I'm making little loyas, very small key lime, um, key limes about that size very small make the loyas or the dough balls I smooth them out and then just set them aside there's no right or wrong way right or wrong size so don't let anybody tell you that your puris are too big or too small. It's just personal preference. But all my loyas are done. So now I'm gonna start rolling them out. So first I'm gonna show you on this tortilla press that I have. 
If you are new to making rotis and puris, or if you don't make them often, this is a good tool to have. I got this off of Amazon. So you just want to oil both sides and If you want to be extra careful, you can line this with um, some saran wrap, but oil seems to work fine. You take, take one dough ball, aloya, you put it towards the back, but leave about two fingers worth of space, and then you just press it. And your puri is done. It's not as thin, but this is a good size puri and you can certainly fry them like that. Let me show you how it's traditionally done on the islands in Fiji and mostly everywhere they make puris. So you take a little bit of the dry flour and just roll it out. Now if you have experience with making rotis or chapatis or parathas, then this step is very easy for you. If you don't, don't worry. I will show you another trick. So if you are unable to make round puris, just go ahead and roll them out however you want and use a katori or bowl, anything to get uniform size. Just press on it like that, remove the sides and you will have puris that are going to be all the same size and they will all look similar. Now if you have a little bit of experience with making puris then this is a breeze and you just roll them out to desired thinness. I like my puris a little on the thin side so I don't like them too thick. I don't like them too thin either. So I want to say maybe a quarter of an inch. Like that. Just make sure that all the sides are equal. And that's your puri. I'm going to roll all of these out. So all of my puris are rolled out here. I have them sitting on the counter here too. You want to make sure you keep them separate so they don't stick to each other. And I'm going to start frying. I'm going to start with the one that we cut with the little bowl. And it helps to have a slotted spoon. My heat is on medium, and when you put the puri in, a trick is to, to slightly press on it, and it starts puffing up. Flip it, push on it, and it'll start puffing up. I'm using grapeseed oil here. You can use uh, canola oil, sunflower oil, um, even good olive oil uh, to fry. And once your puri is done, you're going to bring it to the side like this to drain out all the excess oil. And then you want to put them in a paper towel lined uh, tray or bowl. Going with my next puri. These are the ones that I rolled out by hand. I'm 
gonna flip it. It literally takes 45 seconds for the foodies to get done. So you don't want the heat to be too high. I'm gonna flip it one more time because if it's too high, then your puddies will end up burning. Again, bringing it to the side and transferring it to a paper toweled line bowl. And this way, you're gonna go ahead and fry all the puddies. You wanna put in the puddies slowly. If you keep doing this, you know, puff, pushing down on it a little bit, just lightly, you don't have to put in too much effort. When it's in the oil, it does puff up. And if it's difficult for you to flip it, use tongs. So that was all my porties done and fried. They came out really nice, a very nice golden brown color. You don't want them too dark, but these look amazing and they tasted, tasted so great with the kaddu uh, kitar kari or a pumpkin curry. I had some raita on the side as well, which was just divine. So as always, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up down below. If you're new to my channel and you like the content on my channel, please consider subscribing. And don't forget to tap that bell notification so you're notified as soon as I upload a new video. And until next time, remember to live blissfully and I will see you guys very soon. Love y'all. Bye.